Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about icon swaps and the new icon swap objectives. This is something that I try to do normally when, um, as soon as it came out, but I thought I'll bring it to you guys today. Hopefully it will help you quickly and easily unlock the icon swap objectives because I know it massively helped me and recently we went ahead and we actually unlocked Laurent Blanc as you can see in the team there and uh, he is a fantastic option for you guys to pick. So if you enjoy this video, if you find it useful, smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. And before we get into it, I just want to say massive thank you to you guys for the support on yesterday's pack opening video. I know it's a bit different to what we normally do but I was really really happy that we did actually manage to get a future stars card. But as we move on, the objectives. The objectives, they've actually gone and released 12 of these tokens all at once which is absolutely fantastic and it makes it a lot easier uh, potentially for your decision because you might have missed out a few from the previous ones and you might have wanted uh, the icon pack personally i waited up and i thought i'm not too sure if i want to risk it again because my pack look has been so bad on them packs i went for blanc certified quality but you can see here the ones i went for because i needed two more to get lauren blanc do the squad battles once if you need that. They're so easy. Yes, you need, um, but you can do the smallest ones, which is 10 wins. For some reason, I went for this one. I'm not sure why, but Argentina, legendary. Fine, that's fine. This one here, easy. Six Mexican players, five American. I'll show you the squad that I did use to do this one. It was just a random squad I assembled. Nothing crazy, no special players, anything like that. Hardly any of the time that I did this uh, objective, I didn't even bother bringing on subs and the reason for that being is because of the glitch guys I'll show you the glitch how you use it in game, but it is so good I've literally done so many things with it and I'll talk about more uh, as we get into it This one here is 7 CSL 4 J League players This one clockwork orange 11 Dutch players in your starting squad world class so Online look there are eight here and that is a lot to grind But there are a few ways which you can get around it and make it a bit easier for yourself so with four rivals using nine first owner Premier League players. Now, for me, I've done these type of videos before, and to be honest, there it, there are a few ways of making this easier. Number one, easy as that, just go down in the divisions. Not something I advise, but it will help you um, massively. But if everyone does it, I mean, it's not really fair on the people in lower divisions, but it's something that you may consider if you are really, really struggling. If you're in Division 1, you can't do this in Division 1. I'm in Division 2, and it is very, very difficult at the moment. Um, but what you can do, so you've got Premier League, Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, La Liga, um, which are all nine first order players from them leagues. This one, win five rivals matches using 11 French players. That's all right. One club wonders, so 11 first order players. And foot champions, win 12 games in foot champions. This one is, in my opinion, easy. If you don't play foot champs, maybe just spread it out. May, maybe play the first of your 10 games because after 10 games, yes, they become harder. Um, but I don't think this should be too hard for you guys, especially if you're a decent player at the game. You'll just do this naturally as you'd expect. But the way you can combine and the way that I've been doing it. So, well, the way I would really like to, to do it, we'll start off with. So Premier League, you can combine with, well, any of these leagues, to be honest, you can combine with Les Blues and One Club Wonders. If you have 11, 11 first owner French players from any of the set leagues, it works perfectly because you can do all of these, well, three objectives at once, and I think that's uh, really, really good. Obviously, you have to have a lot of players in your club which are first owner, not for, uh, first owner, but not only first owner, they have to be French, and not only that, if you want to complete one of these ones, then uh, you will have to do it all French uh, sorry you will have to do it from that league as well so for me that's not the easiest thing to do I don't have 11 French Premier League players that are all first owner so I'm combining Premier League with one club wonders nine Premier League first owner players plus two first owner players in this case I have two icons that I got from the icon swaps makes it a lot easier for me and yeah I've managed to do these ones very easily this morning and managed to obtain Blanc so I'll show you the squads that I have been doing it with. So this is my main team. We're working towards it, looking to get a few of the new future stars cards. But how I'm actually doing this one is we go to squad selector and this one here, this one, six American players. This is the one I said, it's not a crazy squad. We have Lozano, Altidore and this guy at center back. No problem at all. It's just so easy to do guys. You don't have to worry about buying extra players and um, picking anyone up, anything daft like that. 
Just use the players that you have in your club, club buy silvers, buy cheap golds, just sell them on afterwards. You can see I have players on the bench and I was actually doing Odegaard at the same time. So that's something I would recommend because as you can see now, we do actually have the special um, 84 rated Odegaard. So we can head into rivals with this card as opposed to using the 84 rated card, which is really, really nice. And I will get that 87 rated Odegaard uh, in due course. But that's the team we use. And what we do is if I was doing this objective, I will go to squad battles. This is something for stupid reasons I didn't realize you could do. So you can see I beat that team there. There are no easy teams left. I'm not playing an 81 rated, not playing an 87 rated, not playing an 84 rated. So I'll just update. Yes, I've played all of my 40 matches so I can have unlimited updates. Here we go, two teams here. If you get a really, really easy team like this one, 61 rating, 50 chemistry, I would do the legendary objective first if you're completing all of the objectives. If not, do the world class ones. But in this case, I will go into this one. I'll even do it on legendary, even though the um, it, the requirements aren't legendary. I'll go in with my team and I'll show you the glitch, which will make this so easy for you guys um, that you don't have to worry, honestly, about these are offline objectives at all and if you find them boring it helps with that as well i find these so boring i find them a chore from ea I don't really know why they put squad battles into it to be honest and i don't understand why they don't um use foot champions more because everyone seems to play foot champions if you could do objectives naturally in foot champs it would be a lot more fun i think um with this though it's really really sorted it for me and i was uh I was, enjoy I was enjoying doing squad battles because it meant that I didn't really have to play the game. So what we'll do is, in this game, I would have scored a goal, for example. I'm, I'm in the game, I would have scored a goal. And yes, this might take me a couple of times to do this glitch because um, that's just the way it works. It doesn't seem to always work straight away. But what you want to do is, I just play 4-4-2. You want to play something with wingers because you will get the ball here in these positions, say with Lozano. If you're running down, it can be in the box or on the edge of the box. You do a fake cross, then a fake shot. And there we go. You see them? I've just put the controller down. I can sit here for the, another 40 minutes without touching anything. Now, one thing to note is sometimes, for whatever reason, they do decide to get the ball back. This is very unlikely, but I've had it before. I've done this glitch. I've gone and had a shave. I've um, gone and had something to eat. You can literally do anything. I would just be careful. If you're playing legendary, sometimes in the second half, they do come back. I've watched like YouTube videos. I've watched sports. Hopefully you guys can maybe even watch some of my content whilst you are doing this glitch. But to repeat again, what you want to do is a fake cross. So whatever console you're on, that's either square then X or it's X then A. And then you would just let go of like the back buttons, everything like that, the fake cross, and then straight away, the fake shot. It might take you a few times to do, but as you saw there, that was my second attempt in this game. If I don't do it, I just run away. And if you have two guys on you, one thing to note, if you have two guys on you that are marking you, you cannot do it. Um, it can be inside the box, it can be just outside the box as well in your opponent's half it can't be in your half has to be in their box that's just the way i've done it there might be different ways that you can do it but that is the easiest way i have found to do it you can sit here do whatever you like in the second half just run down the wing again do exactly the same it takes a lot of time but it makes it so much easier makes it stress free free made getting that Laurent Blanc a lot easier for me because ones in previous seasons where it's been squad battles objectives i've just hated doing them and you can see here how easy it is to do so guys i hope you did enjoy this video i hope you found it useful and um, if you have any more tips for um for these sort of objectives i would say one thing for squad battles if you struggle scoring against squad battles just be patient you don't need to score straight away do the fake shots uh, a lot do berber spins bring on your subs if you need to use attribute cards attribute cards are massive if you really struggle against the computer because you could have your striker have like crazy finishing but that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. Um, yeah, a good luck with your icon packs if you're taking them. I've seen people get rude hullets, Vieiras, all sorts of stuff. I'll see you very soon for another FIFA 20 video.